Basta Davnor, the best. Since 2015, this has been the branding of our province. What began as a promise to host the best Balaro ever became a promise to be the best province this country could ever have. Now that last one may seem like a pipe dream, but even great things start small. For us, it starts with simply making every year the best one possible for every Dabao This is the best of Dabao 2016. Two thousand sixteen was the year that change came upon the entire country. Our province also saw a change in leadership. Former Governor Rodolfo del Rosario turned his seat over to his son, Governor Anthony, but not before leaving behind his substantial legacy. For fifteen years, the province thrived under the leadership of Governor Rodolfo del Rosario. We were able to explore new frontiers and conquer uncharted waters, built monumental infrastructures transformed our bureaucracy to better serve our constituents, and provided basic services and facilities that improved the quality of life of our people. We pioneered institutional reforms that allowed us to evolve from mere service delivery-oriented to an enabling-oriented bureaucracy. And for these achievements, we will forever be grateful to Governor Dolfo. Now, it is time to do even more. Much like his father, Governor Anthony strived to continue the culture of best that his father began. But also, much like his father, he wanted to be his own man. Banking on successes of the previous administration while charting his own path, Governor Anthony crafted the governance slogan, AMA, or Abilidad at Malasakit, together with all the executive and legislative departments of the provincial government. A new executive legislative agenda was formed. Through the instrumental help of the members of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, we successfully redefined our systems and approaches and refocused our programs, projects, and activities, aligning them with the current thrust and priorities of the current administration for the next three years. Our new agenda now stands for balanced ecology, enhanced agri-agriculture, sustainable tourism, transformative leadership, public infrastructure, education and sports, Optimum Health and Social Services, Public-Private Partnership, Link to the World, and Employment and Livelihood Opportunities. The strategy aims to attain a culture of excellence among our people and make the best Davao del Norte even better. It is designed to, em to empower our people and institutions to boost our thrust of achieving national prominence and global relevance. We aim to transform the Dabonon people from being a survivalist and subsistent population into becoming sustainable, self-reliant, globally competitive communities. In just a short period of time, the administration was able to tally several achievements across the major sectors of governance, economic, social, and environment. The 2017 annual budget consists of a total of 52.7 million pesos for priority PPAs. Through our intensified implementation of the Enhanced Tax Revenue Collection and Administration System, or ETRAX, coupled with the increased absorptive capacity of our Provincial Economic Enterprise and Development Office, we expect to be able to collect a total local income of 176.9 million pesos this 2017. We have passed on time our Provincial Development Investment Program and Annual Investment Program. We updated our socio-economic profiling system. We have reconstituted our Provincial Development Council and Provincial Project Monitoring Committee. Our provincial government is recognized for its excellent implementation of the program to institutionalize meritocracy and excellence in human resource management. We intensify the institutionalization of the human resource information system in the various departments of the capital. We have further fulfilled the decades-old dream of our Lumad constituents to have their own institution of higher learning with our launching of the Dato Ose Libayao DNSC Extension Campus in the tribal town of Tala, England. Groundworks are already underway for the establishment of our very own Alternative Revenue Collection, Disbursement and Citizen ID systems in the province. We have been maintaining a total of 839.95 kilometers of provincial roads and bridges, consisting of 147 road sections in the amount of 55.76 million pesos. 
we have provided inputs for rehabilitation for both the agriculture and fishery sectors. In line with our thrust of strengthening good governance in our barangays, we have intensified the implementation of our stimulus fund for some 228 projects worth 111.5 million pesos. The two dental mobile vehicles recently turned over to us by the Department of Health have increased our capacity to boost our dental outreach program. Among other projects, we sustained the establishment of Protection Forest, where we now cover some 249 hectares, benefiting 230 upland farmers, who are mostly members of the indigenous people's community. For two years in a row now, Davao del Norte again won this year's regional search for Gawad Kalasag Excellence in Disaster Risk Reduction and Management for its heightened climate change adaption and DRRM efforts. We are set to bring the program to a new level by starting the Alliance of Grassroots Responders in all our barangays this 2017. Another way through which we showed how much we valued our environment is through the formulation of a Provincial Tourism Master Plan. We developed key tourism sites to attract tourism while securing their protection. Our legal office has ensured that all enterprises of the province are in accordance with the law, including the successful recovery of properties in Samal Island and Tagum City. We intensified our animal dispersal program meant to widen the income opportunities of our poor farmers. Our province has upgraded its institutional welfare facilities, starting with the DSWD accreditation of Bahay Pag-asa Davao del Norte, which is our very own transformation center that primarily caters to children in conflict with the law. Under the Maternal and Child Health Project, we have intensified full immunization by 95%, thus significantly reducing vaccine-preventable diseases among children through the Health Facility Enhancement Program we were able to increase access to safe birthing facilities. With our sustained water and sanitation project, we have increased the percentage of households with access to safe water by 87%, thus decreasing the number of cases of waterborne diseases. The AGR PhilHealth sponsored project was able to properly validate, enlist, and enroll 11,793 members, thereby providing financial risk protection to indigent and low-income families. With a fully functional voluntary blood sufficiency program, we were able to secure sufficient provision of readily available, safe, and accessible supply of blood and other blood products. Our support to the Luntiang Paraiso Regional Rehabilitation Center strengthened opportunities for a sustained sober lifestyle and diminished drugs, alcoholic, and cyber addiction dependency. The Provincial Sports Development Division's trained program was able to bring about a culture improving athletes' level of play through science-based training. While its compete project boasted Davnor athletes' skills in the national and regional level competitions. The implementation of re-greening program has reduced open areas for reforestation by 2.08% from 102,386.91 hectares in 2015 to 100,254.16 hectares by 2016. Over 55 trainings conducted, producing 55 entrepreneurs. A more proactive livelihood and skills training project has increased the number of the Baunons engaged in entrepreneurship. Moreover, with more than 28,000 job applicants placed, the skills training project has directly helped raise the employment rate and placement of job seekers. In the area of public infrastructure, the speedy repair, rehabilitation, and maintenance of provincial roads and bridges has notably improved preservation of quality traded agricultural products, at the same time reduced traveling time and vehicle maintenance cost of motorists by 50%. Highlighting the development agenda on sustainable tourism, tourism resources sustainably managed towards improved productivity and enhanced resiliency has increased tourist arrivals by 10%. Animal Healthcare and Disease Management Program under the Enhanced Agri-Aqua Development Agenda has limited the mortality rate to a maximum of 3%. Consequently increased productivity and augmented income of marginal farmers, livestock and poultry stakeholders by 10%. Of course, all the gears of the provincial government are well-oiled thanks to the efficient operation of the provincial administrator's office with a timely coordination of the provincial governor's office to make sure that our governor puts his stamp of approval in every undertaking. And lastly, all our events and accomplishments have been well-documented and presented by the provincial information office 
to certify that our Dabaunon are well informed on development news. The roller coaster ride of the 2016 can be marked by several prominent events from sadness to stress to excitement to folly and to ecstasy. Our 2016 ride was definitely a blast. Once again, the province proved its hosting prowess with its staging of the Davao Region Athletic Association meet. 6,000 delegates from 10 divisions participated in 21 sports. Davnor was able to haul 32 medals. Even before they began their official duties, all provincial officials went through an executive course in public administration. This activity aimed to level off their collective knowledge and understanding regarding their roles and responsibilities as public servants in this new age of change. The 2016 national elections placed in power both new and old faces in our provincial government. We welcome back Congressman Pantaleon Alvarez and Congressman Antonio Florendo Jr. as representatives of the 1st and 2nd districts, respectively, with the former being elected as the current Speaker of the House of Representatives. Former Congressman Antonio Rafael del Rosario now became our Governor, while former Sangguniang Panlalawigan Board Member Alan Duhali became our Vice Governor. Along with the 13 board members and hundreds of city and municipal officials, our new set of leaders took oath on July 1, 2016. The province looked positively forward towards the administration with our bountiful celebration of the 49th Araw ng Davao del Norte and Kadagayaan Festival, which featured nightly events, vibrant agriculturally themed exhibits, and our annual Alay Davao Walk. Davao del Norte is one with the whole country in fighting prohibited drugs. But we took a more diplomatic approach in handling the problem. By targeting the rehabilitation of surrenderies, we established the Provincial Anti-Drug Abuse Council to create a program that would rightfully address the problem. One of these is the Convergence of Services for Volunteer Surrenderies for Reformation, a one-day gathering of several government agencies to give technical intervention and a possibility of a new life to more than 300 victims of drug abuse. And to prove that no one is above the law, officials and employees of the provincial government underwent mandatory drug testing. We carried with us the banner of being the best host when we took on the challenge of hosting the Batang Pinoy National Competition. We turned the event into the best Batang Pinoy ever, with over 14,000 delegates and guests pouring in for the week-long event. And in participation of the biggest change that would soon envelope our country, we conducted a Federalism Congress, where national and local experts discussed the concept and assessed our readiness for the new system of government. With all the best practices of the province, modesty aside, we were bound to get noticed. But pride for pride's sake was never the point, because all that we did, we have done in the best interest of the Dabaunon. Launched in 2014 following the success of the Seal of Good Housekeeping, the Seal of Good Local Governance is given to LGUs, which are able to continue good governance practices while providing better services. Our Provincial Budget Office, Provincial Accountant's Office, and Provincial Treasurer's Office secured our good financial management as one of the criteria of the award. Thus, Davao del Norte became a recipient of the prestigious award through the People and Best People Development Agenda of the past and present administrations. Uh, ang province of Davao del Norte is a constant na, or regular na winner sa seal of good local governance. There are core uh, areas that the provincial government should satisfy. For example, the good financial housekeeping, the disaster preparedness, social protection, environmental protection. For the past few years that I have been uh, stationed in Davao del Norte, there is no other place that I have seen that is so very cooperative and trying always their best to come up with the best performance ever. But it's only in Davao del Norte, the local government unit of the province. Basta Davnor, the best. 
The province was recognized as the best implementer of the Philippine Rural Development Project in the entire region through the efforts of the Provincial Planning and Development Office, Provincial Engineer's Office, and the Province Agriculturist's Office. Recognized by heads from the Regional Project Support Offices, Davao del Norte is considered the standard for implementation and monitoring. Our best practices are constantly being adopted in other areas, and pilot testings have usually been conducted in our sites. Public Employment Service offices in the province were awarded as the 2016 Regional Best Performing PESO in several categories. Of these, Panabo City, St. Mary's College, and the UM Tagum College won national awards in their respective categories. The awards are given to acknowledge the exemplary performance of some PESOs as local hubs for labor market information, career guidance and employment coaching, and job referral and placement for constituent job seekers. Ang benefit na akong nakuha as one of the best grantee was that nakadevelop siya sa kong self-confidence and self-esteem. Here now, presently, I'm working at a institution, so I was assigned in the Vice President's Office because of my experience way back sa itong SPES grantee pa ko. With that experiences in my SPES, mas dali na para sa ako ah, ang mag-adjust o mag cope up sa mga challenges na akong ma-encounter dili a during sa ako ang work life o para ma-attain po na ako ang ginaingon din na quality work life. Thus, I am proud to say that I am one of the best grantees. Basta Davnor, the best. We further beefed up support to our entrepreneurs through the facility of our Davao del Norte Credit Surety Fund. We gained recognition due to our collateral free loan releases amounting to 44.9 million pesos to some 1,087 farmer and cooperative beneficiaries. And in line with the Department of Agriculture's mission to achieve rice self-sufficiency, Davao del Norte was also adjudged as one of the most outstanding provinces in the country for improving its rice production performance. Uh, dako, salamat sa tawag sa magro, nga nahimo kong tawag nga gawad sa ka, winner. Nga naman, tungod kay kani sa ka paagi, gawa sa mong personal pagpalingkamot, makatabang yung isa ito ang kagulingon, pamilya, yung odsap sa itong masingan. Nga naman, kaya adore yung mga teknolohiya gigamit sa mga sa teknisyan, nga diin, gigamit na mo, gipractice pa na mo, sama sa organic, tipid sa gasto, o onya magyakinan siya ka, Kanya ba yun sa itong panglawas, makatabang po sa itong kinabuhi nga naman. Kaya wala naman tayo magamit o tawag na insecticide. Basta Dabnor, the best. Through the efforts of the Provincial Health Office, we have been declared filariasis free since from 2014 up to the present. The province was awarded 250,000 pesos for its achievement. So the effect na sa, sa budget or from our grant, nakahelp a lot yun to kayo sa ito, pagparan sa ito ang program. Kay dito na ito, karoon ato ang case finding, ang ato ang uh, pagkandak ng nocturnal blood examination. Diha na ito na makitaan pila ang prevalence rate sa ato ang, sa ato ang probinsya kung nisustain ba siya. And thanks to God na nasustain na ito karoon na year. O proud kong masulting nga ang Dava del Norte, Filaria Free. And basta Dabnor, the best! Before we end, we give you the best laps of 2016. <laughs>